Well, hello, lovely humans, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi. My name is Jamie, and welcome to my tiny little corner of the internet that is my lifestyle channel. Now, if you are like me, you are on the constant, and I do mean constant search for the perfect messy bun. Like, the perfect messy bun. But here's the deal. I don't want a 10-minute messy bun. If I'm doing a messy bun, it's because I've given up all hope of making my hair look like anything that would be considered socially acceptable. So if I'm doing a messy bun, it's got to be fast. Like, it's got to be lightning quick. So what I decided to do today is to uh, look up some perfect messy bun tutorials that are out there on the internet and try them out here with you guys. And hopefully we will find my new messy bun holy grail. We will find it together, my friends. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into it. Darling, you few parameters, if you will, when searching for the perfect messy bun tutorial. Uh, one, I didn't want any sort of tutorial that was longer than five minutes because I'm planning on trying out five of them and that would make for a very, very long time to sit here and try them all out. Um, two, that's, that's it. I mean, I guess maybe they had to have the word messy bun in the title. To make sure I was the most prepared, I have already put in dry shampoo into my hair and I have a myriad of hair products in front of me. So the first one that we are going to try has 1.8 million views. Okay. And this is by Alexis May and it's posted in the middle in July. Yeah, July of 2018. And the video is two minutes and 48 seconds long. So let's check this out, shall we? So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a one minute bun. Okay. So I'm going to grab a little bit of my dry shampoo, put that through my root area, and then I'm going to take a little bit of my hairspray and throw that through my end. Now I'm not going to do any hairspray in my ends simply because I know I'm going to be trying out a bunch of different styles today. So I'm going to skip that. So hold my hair up into a high ponytail and I'm first going to secure this all up. Now I'm going to oh, pull- Oh gosh, gosh, gosh. Okay. Okay. I get that you can do this in a minute, but some of us need a second. Gosh, how she does this in a minute is beyond me. We're like a minute in and I'm still trying to get my ponytail to work. Okay. That's a, that's a high ponytail, right? Okay. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to pull a few of those strands in my front area to give yeah. myself a little bit more texture. What if you, what if you pull too much? What do you do then? Just like pull everything else to match? It's a really great idea to film this video two months into quarantine when your hair hasn't been done in about three and a half months. We're gonna keep moving, we're gonna keep... We're, we're gonna keep going. Then I'm going to lightly tease my ends just a little bit, grabbing another hair tie. I'm going to loop this around once. I'm gonna loop it, but not pull it all the way through. I'm gonna leave most of pull, my... Huh. Okay, loop it through once. And then I'm going to grab all of my hair and loop it just around that little bun part. Depending on how thick your hair is, will tell you how many times you're gonna go around that bun. You guys can see I was struggling because my hair Same. almost didn't fit. Same. Then what I'm gonna do is hold right, my ends, little small strands out like so. This is gonna give my bun a little bit more texture and messiness to it like so. Then we're gonna grab the ends, split them in half, and then we're just gonna, just gonna bring them to the front and then drape them over. Depending on how long your hair is, we'll tell you if you need to kind of drape it a few times or not. My hair is clearly too long to do that masterfully. So then twice, I guess? There's like, there's some gibbet a gaps. She did say, depending on your hair length, you'll have to wrap it around a few times. I do have really long hair, but I had to pull it through a decent amount. Otherwise, this thing on top would, would be soups awkward. But so I'm not getting the cute little fringy pieces that she has. I mean, it's it's not like it's hard, but I, I, it's, I just don't think it works for my hair. This is what I call a, like a mushroom bun because it looks like the top of a mushroom or like a, a hand fan that you use on hot summer days when air conditioning is non-existent. I just think for my overall hair length and and texture, I mean, perhaps if I allowed my more natural wave to come through, this would have better texture to it. Okay, see, this is the part of the double rubber band that I, I just can't quite get behind. Ah. Well, the good news is after messy bun number five, I'm gonna have a lot of texture to my hair. <laughs> Okay, so this next one is from Someday Mama. It was posted in 2015 and it has 4.1 million views and is about three and a half minutes long. First thing first, you wanna 
get your hair up into a high ponytail. And I'm just kind of like raking through with my fingers to kind of smooth it out. Okay, and then grab it on top of your head. Grab your elastic, pull it halfway through, twist, and then bring that tail around. And then you're going to grab what? it and pull it over Wait. the rest of Bring the, okay, bring the tail around and grab it. And then we kind of go back over. Okay, so did you catch all that? <laughs> um, and then you're going to pull, 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 stretch it out. And then if you've got like a little tail, I just like twist it and then tuck it under the elastic. Like that. Okay, so that one was, to me, felt way, way easier. It did take me a second to kind of like understand what exactly she was trying to say with the whole tail and bringing it around. So I personally love that it literally required one hair tie and it really, really was very fast. And yes, I did end up using a bobby pin because I have those like little, little baby hairs on the back of my neck. I will say it's not exactly quite right yet. I'm gonna chalk that one up to user error and not her tutorial because her bun looks amazing. <laughs> mine, mine looks like a misshapen donut atop of my head, but I'm sure if I kept trying this one, it would be a lot easier. So, so far, I'm liking this one better than the first one. Oh, cheapers. Okay. Okay, so this next one is Kare, 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 Albers. Um, this one was posted in 2015 as well. Wow, I'm digging into the YouTube archives here. Has 1.3 million views and it is a 3 minute and 14 second video. Yes, please. And she calls it the 5 second messy bun. Listen, Karay. <gasps> this is gonna be great. I'm here to be your best friend and to teach you how it is done. So first- Oh, hello, best friend. Just first, you wanna get a elastic band. Now, I'm using this one, which is just a round. So you wanna start off with your elastic band like this and you wanna gather your hair I like to do the fast way. Just flip it over like this. Whoa. Just gather your hair. Hold on. So what you want to do, you get your elastic band. You just kind of pull your hair halfway through. And then with a little bit right here, you just kind of grab the rest of your hair, twist it. And then you still have a little bit of elastic band. And you pull that over. And you hold it like this. And you kind of just pull pieces out. Pull pieces out. <laughs> I did it, did it, did it. <laughs> no, it's like the it's like the Mohawk messy buns. Oh no, I didn't do that right. Okay, I'm sorry, Karay. Let's try that again. So what you want to do? You get your elastic band. You just kind of pull your hair halfway through, and then with a little bit here right here, you just kind of grab the rest of your hair, twist it, and then you still have a little bit of elastic band, and you okay. pull that over. And you hold it like this. Wait. Kind of just Wait. It's like one of those, what would I look like with bangs? <laughs> okay, listen. This is my favorite one yet. <laughs> I mean, once we got over the whole uh, mohawk situation, what I found that I was doing incorrectly, because I wasn't watching her, was I swept the tail end of my bun around the front the first time around. Um, instead, when I swept around the back and then just like clawed it and brought the hair tie over, I was able to create a way more messy bun. I actually really, really like this one. It was ridiculously easy and you can bet your bottom dollar I'm gonna be doing this again. One hair tie. This part probably could use with a little bit of fixing because we do have like a little bit of that mohawk effect right here, but I think with a little bit of tweaking um, and a little less user error, I could probably get it to be exactly what I wanted it to be. And because I'm such a huge, huge fan of using scrunchies to like reduce hair breakage, I think I could definitely pull this off with a scrunchie as well. My new best friend has this great tutorial on how to do a messy bun and you should definitely go check her out. Oh, and that just fell right out. What? Okay. Y'all, Karay is my new best friend. Um, next one up is from Annie's Forget Me Nots. It is three minutes long and has 1.8 million views. All right, let's see if we can get this easy messy bun using no bobby pins down pat. So I'll wrap it around my ponytail once. And now I'm going to switch the elastic into my dominant hand. Oops. Twist it one time. 
and then take all of my hair and create a donut, just creating a circle around the center of the ponytail. What in this Sam Hill? <laughs> Do I have a donut, guys? You gotta tell me, because I can't see anything. And then tie it around twice. And then start pulling it out to make it continue to look like a donut. <laughs> reset <laughs> what is happening all right and then take all of my hair and create a donut and then tie it around twice okay Annie you got it I can only do once and then once you have it there just kind of form it to be that same shape all right now I'm going to take all the remaining hair pull it to the front and open that elastic in front and stick the hair back up inside the elastic. Okay, so she takes all of the remaining hair and sticks it into the hair tie. Okay. I don't, <laughs> I don't think that's what she meant for it to look like. Okay, so this for me is a little bit of a no. <laughs> It just, it's, I, it's probably like if you had shorter hair and or finer hair, this might work for you, but this, it looks like a donut on top of a, a, an inner tube. No. Or like a peacock's keister on top of an inner tube. That's what it looks like. It looks like a peacock behind on top of something you ride down a lazy river. Now it looks amazing on her. So we're going to go ahead and chop this one up to user error, but this is... I'm not gonna say my least favorite because I think the first one was my least favorite, but this is this is up there. Ow! So the last one is from Indigo Moon Artists. It was posted in 2015. So what I'm starting to see here is a lot of the short and popular Messy Bunch tutorials have been around for a while. So they have a lot of views. Like this one has uh, 79,000 views, which is nuts. The video is five minutes and 10 seconds long. Oh, from Makeup Art and Freak. I wonder if this is one of those channels like repost from other channels. From my mirror. So I like it to be somewhere around here. So what I do is I collect it into a ponytail and then I do this. I'm gonna need you to do that again. So let me just show it again. Please do. Please do. I do this, wrap it around, collect it, and that's it. So this is my fun messy bun and I'm just going to show it to you in a slower motion kind of. Finally because we're on the third round of this and I still don't know what we're doing. Is I take the hair, wrap it but I don't pull the ponytail all the way and then what I do is I just twist the um, hairband once and I do that when I do that I collect the hair kind of with my hand like that, that makes sense. It's easier to show than to explain in words, but you can see I just kind of collect it. Okay. Wrap it around and take my hair and then I just leave it. Okay, I'm gonna, in an effort for all fairness, we're gonna try this again because that was not, that did not seem right. Okay, I'm gonna take this and then pull it over. Gather up the hair, like it's kind of like the, the tail end, and then take the rubber band back over the top of it. What is happening? Oh, okay. I think it's basically the same exact idea as my best friend's uh, bun, Kare, Carrie, Kare, but I feel like. That other video was a lot better of an explanation than this one was. This one's fine. If you, Again, if you have shorter hair and or finer hair, this could be um, something that is quite, quite, quite easy for you. Or, you know, if you are, you could watch this tutorial and be like, Jamie, you screwed that up like 82 different ways and you only did it three times. <laughs>
I know, I know, we're not knocking this tutorial at all. I mean, a little bit of the peacock situation, not a whole lot. It looks like a peacock with a tumor. And if I'm just like ridiculously picky about my messy buns, y'all can definitely let me know in the comments below. I just figured I would try out some of the most popular and shortest bun tutorials out there. Um, so you didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all we have for today, folks. Thank you so much for stopping by. Let me know what your favorite messy bun was in the comments below. Again, uh, thank you to these unwilling participants, the other YouTubers who paved the way and uh, offered some quality content for me to go ahead and try to do today. They're all super cute. They all have great messy bun tutorials and uh, I just need to, I need, I need some work. <laughs> If you guys like this kind of thing, let me know um, and uh, give this video a thumbs up. Do all the, the youtube -y things. If you want to follow me over on Instagram, I'm active there a whole lot. And that is at the Jamie Wolfer. And I would love to see you there. And until next time, bye guys.